This is a quick walkthrough of how to get our vinyl to PC kit working with Windows Vista. Um, here we are on the vinyl to pc.co.uk website. Um, and you can see here is a photograph of Audacity. This is the editing software that we'll be using. And you see here is a picture of Infra Recorder. This is the uh, audio CD burning software that we'll be using. It's open source, anybody can use it. Um, we scroll down here you can see this is the back of a regular desktop PC and if you have that you use the blue line in socket here's a picture of a laptop um, and you'll either have a red or a pink microphone in socket on a laptop and that's what you'll be using um, here's the headphone socket on the front of a stereo and here are the leads that come with the kit this is the three and a half mil long lead and it will either be um, 5 meters, 10 meters or 25 meters depending which kit you go for. This is a headphone adapter jack and it turns the old style quarter inch headphone socket into the 3.5mm um, that we need to connect to this lead. Here is a two phono plug to 3.5mm um, socket adapter and we'll use this if say you want to play your iPod through the stereo you can connect it to the phono in sockets on the back and anything any device you can connect you can then play through the stereo it saves spending 250 pounds on a Bose um, sound dock or something like that okay Okay, here's a quick run through of what's on the uh, CD. So to open up the CD drive in Windows Vista, we go to computer and drag that down there and double click on the uh, CD ROM. Okay, you can see here we've got Audacity for Vista. Uh, this is a beta version and this is the one we're using 1.3.3. Audacity 1.2.6, that's for Windows XP, so we're not going to be using that on this occasion. If you have XP, you should use that as it's a stable release. Here we have Infra Recorder. Um, this will allow you to burn a proper audio CD that can be played back in your car stereo or your regular stereo in the lounge. It um, supports all sorts of other burning formats as well. It's quite useful, it's open source, so um, there are no license fees to pay. Um, here's UNRA, that's just a piece of um, software for uncompressing files. And here you can see um, there is a, a um, man five page manual. Um, two, the first two pages you'll have a printout of, but there are three more pages on there of frequently asked questions and they can be really helpful if you're having a problem. Um, that's everything that's on the CD. The first thing to do then is to install Audacity. Thank you. Okay, before we go into Audacity, we need to check that some of the options in the Windows control panel are set correctly for the microphone. To do this, we go here, and then we go to control panel, and go to hardware and sound and then we go to manage audio devices click on the recording tab and you can see here because I've got a microphone plugged in there's a tick next to it if you've got a device plugged into the microphone socket um, there'll be a tick next to it so uh, double click on the microphone and you can see here it displays the various properties um, you can see it said to use this device, that's correct. If we click on uh, properties, yes, that's all working correctly. There's nothing in there we need to change. If we click on levels, um, you can see I've currently got it set to 56. The important thing is microphone boost. Um, if you set this above 20 dB, you will get distortion. If you set it all the way up here, say 60 dB, 
you get incredible distortion. So it either needs to be set to zero, plus 10 or plus 20 at the very most. Um, if you need more volume, you turn up the volume on the record player itself and, and that's how you get a louder signal. Don't allow Windows to compensate because it will only add distortion. Um, now I say in the instructions that a few laptops only allow mono input. Because I've got this option here of balance in the microphone control panel, if I click on that you can see that I've got true stereo dual channel input on my microphone and the PC I'm using is a Dell Inspiron 1501. It's just a cheap £300 Dell laptop and that has stereo by default so I'm guessing that most do now. Okay, um, so everything's set correctly in there. You can see as I'm using the microphone at the moment it's actually going up and down here. Okay, so everything's set correctly in there. So next we'll bring up Audacity. Okay, so I've installed Audacity version 1.3.3 from the CD supplied with the kit. Um, there are a few settings that we have to check before we can use the software. So if you go to edit and then scroll all the way down to preferences, um, and then you can see um, audio IO. It's quite important that the recording device isn't set to Microsoft Sound Mapper Input. It wants to be set to Direct Sound, Primary Sound Capture in this case. Um, this stops Windows taking control of the sound card and actually lets Audacity uh, use it directly. All these other options you can see here are to do with Bluetooth. They can be ignored. They aren't the correct options. It's the first Windows Direct Sound option. Um, and that's what should be used um, when capturing from a record player or a tape deck. Okay. Um, there are some other options in here. You can play other tracks while recording the new one. You probably don't want to do that. Software playthrough that can be useful because you can hear where you're up to with the recording on a few systems. You can get feedback, in which case you'd leave it unticked. Um, that's everything needs to be done in there. Okay, quality um, because we're going to be making audio CDs, the sample rate has to be set to 44100, it can't be set to anything else, otherwise, the uh, WAV files that we generate won't be suitable for standard audio CDs. File formats. Now, this is quite important if you want to make MP3 audio tracks. Now MP3 audio tracks are one tenth of the size of uh, WAV files so if you envisage turning all your cassettes and vinyl LPs into CDs then you don't need the lame encoder MP3 export setup installed but I'll assume that you do want it installed um, and this is how we do that. 